Medical Surgical Nursing Exam Number 3 Question 1. A client is scheduled for insertion of an inferior vena cava IVC filter. Nurse Patricia consults the physician about withholding which regularly scheduled medication on the day before the surgery. A. Potassium chloride. B. Warfarin sodium. C. Furosemide. D. Docusate. <laughs> Answer B. In pre-operative period, the nurse should consult with the physician about withholding warfare and sodium to avoid occurrence of hemorrhage. Question 2. A nurse is planning to assess the corneal reflex on an unconscious client. Which of the following is the safest stimulus to touch the client's cornea? A. Cotton buds. B. Sterile glove. C. Sterile tongue depressor. D. Wisp of cotton. <laughs> Question 1. A client is scheduled for insertion of an inferior vena cava IVC filter. Nurse Patricia consults the physician about withholding which regularly scheduled medication on the day before the surgery. Question 3. A female client develops an infection at the catheter insertion site. The nurse in charge uses the term iatrogenic when describing the infection because it resulted from A. Client's developmental level B. Therapeutic procedure C. Poor hygiene D. Inadequate dietary patterns <laughs> Answer B. Iatrogenic infection is caused by the Heath care provider or is induced inadvertently by medical treatment or procedures. Question 1. A client is scheduled for... Question 3. A female client develops an infection at the catheter insertion site. The nurse in charge uses the term... Answer B. Iatrogenic in. Answer B. This symptom is caused by stimulation of retinal cells by ocular movement. Question 6. Kate with severe head injury is being monitored by the nurse for increasing intracranial pressure ICP. Which finding should be most indicative sign of increasing intracranial pressure? A. Intermittent tachycardia. B. Polydipsia. C. Tachypnea. D. Increased restlessness. Answer B. Iatrogenic infection is caused by the Heath care provider or is induced inadvertently by medical treatment or procedures. Answer B. This symptom is. Question 6. 
Kate, with severe head injury, is being monitored by the nurse for increasing intracranial pressure ICP, which finding should be most in question 3. A female client develops an infection at the catheter insertion site. The nurse in charge uses the term iatrogenic when describing the infection because it resulted from a client's developmental level, b therapeutic procedure, c poor hygiene, d inadequate dietary. Question 1. A client is scheduled for Answer B. Iatrogenic infection is caused by the health care provider or is induced inadvertently by medical treatment or procedures. Question 9. Nurse Jenny should caution a female client who is sexually active in taking ISO-ESD-NH because the drug has which of the following side effects? A. Prevents ovulation. B has a mutagenic effect on OVA. C. Decreases the effectiveness of oral contraceptives. D. Increases the risk of vaginal infection. Answer. C. Isoeazid INH interferes in the effectiveness of oral contraceptives and clients of childbearing age should be cancelled to use an alternative form of birth control while taking this drug. Question 1. A client is scheduled for insertion of an inferior vena cava IVC filter. Nurse Patricia consults the physician about withholding which regularly scheduled medication on the day before the surgery. A. Potassium chloride. B. Warfarins. Answer. B. Iatrogenic in. Question 9. Nurse Jenny should caution a female client who is sexually active in taking isoelzadi NH because the drug has which of the following side effects? A. Prevents ovulation. B. Medical surgical nursing exam number 3. Answer A. Dark red to purple stemma indicates inadequate blood supply. Question 12. Kate, which has diagnosed with ulcerative colitis, is following physician's order for bed rest with bathroom privileges. What is the rationale for this activity restriction? A. Prevent injury. B. Promote rest and comfort. C. Reduce intestinal peristalsis. D. Conserve energy. Question 3. A female client develops an infection at the catheter insertion site. The nurse in charge uses the term iatrogenic. Question 6. Kate, with severe head injury, is being monitored by the nurse for increasing intracranial pressure ICP. Which finding should be most indicative sign of increasing intracranial pressure? A. Intermittent tachycardia. B. Polydipsia. C. Tachypnea. D. Increased restlessness. Answer. B. Iatrogenic in. Answer. A. During total parenteral nutrition TPN administration, the client should be monitored regularly for hypoglycemia. Question 2. A nurse is planning to assess the corneal reflex on unconscious client. Which of the following is the safest stimulus to touch the client's cornea? A. Cotton buds. B. Sterile glove. C. 
sterile tongue depressor. D. Question 3. A female client develops. Question 6. Kate, with severe head injury, is being monitored by the nurse for increasing intracranial pressure ICP. Which f answer? C. Isoeosidine NH interferes in the effectiveness of oral contraceptives and clients of childbearing age should be cancelled to use an alternative form of birth control while taking this drug. Answer A. During total parent. Question 3. A female client develops an infection at the catheter insertion site. The nurse in charge uses the term iatrogenic when describing the infection because it resulted from A. Client's developmental level B. Therapeutic procedure C. Poor hygiene D. Question 2. A nurse is planning to assess Question 12. Kate, which has diagnosed with ulcerative colitis, is following physician's order for bed rest with bathroom privileges. What is the rationale for this activity restriction? A. Prevent injury. B. Promote rest and comfort. C. Reduce intestinal peristalsis. D. Conserve energy. Answer. B. This symptom is answer B. After a pelvic surgery, there is an increased chance of thrombophlebitis sewing to the pelvic manipulation that can interfere with circulation and promote venous stasis. Question 2. A nurse is planning to assess the corneal reflex on unconscious client. Which of the following is the safest stimulus to touch the client's cornea? A. Cotton buds. B. Sterile glove. C. Sterile tongue depressor. D. Wisp of cotton. <laughs> Answer D. For the safety of all personnel, if the defibrillator paddles are being discharged, all personnel must stand back and be clear of all the contact with the client or the client's bed. Question 2. A nurse is planning to assess the corneal reflex on an unconscious client. Which of the following is the safest stimulus? Question 20. A client with acute renal failure is aware that the most serious complication of this condition is A. Constipation B. Anemia C. Infection D. Platelet dysfunction Answer D. For the safety of all. Answer C. Infection is responsible for one third of the traumatic or surgically induced death of clients with renal failure as well as medical induced acute renal failure ARF. <laughs>
Question 2. A nurse's planning to assess. Question 20. A client with acute renal failure is aware that the most serious complication of this condition is A. Constipation B. Answer D. For the safety of all personnel, if the defibrillator paddles are being discharged, all personnel must stand back and be clear of all the contact with the client or the client's bed. Answer A. During total print. <laughs> Question 2. A nurse is planning to assess the corneal reflex on unconscious client. Which of the following is the safest stimulus to touch the client's cornea? A. Cotton buds. B. Sterile glove. C. Sterile tongue depressor. D. Wisp of co- Question 20. A client with acute- Answer. C. Assessment of a client with Hodgkin's disease most often reveals enlarged, painless lymph node, fever, malaise and night sweats. Question 24. A client has suffered from fall and sustained a leg injury. Which appropriate question would the nurse ask the client to help determine if the injury caused fracture? A. Is the pain sharp and continuous? B. Is the pain dull ache? C. Does the discomfort feel like a cramp? D. Does the pain feel like the muscle was stretched? <laughs> Question 2. A nurse is planning to assess the corneal reflex on unconscious client. Which of the following is the safest stimulus to... Question 20. A client with acute renal failure is aware that the most serious complication of this condition is... A. Constipation. B. Anemia. C. Infection. D. Platelet dysfunction. Answer C. Assessment of a Question 24. A client has suffered from fall and sustained a leg injury. Which appropriate question would the nurse ask the client to help determine if the injury caused fracture? A. Is the pain Question 2. A nurse is planning to assess. Question 20. A client with acute renal failure is aware that the most serious complication of this condition is A. Constipation. B. Anemia. Answer. C. Assessment of a client with Hodgkin's disease most often reveals enlarged, painless lymph node, fever, malaise and night sweats. Question 24. A client has suffered. Answer A. 
During total parenteral nutrition TPN administration, the client should be monitored regularly for hypoglycemia. Answer D. For the safety of all. Answer C. Infection is responsible for one third of the traumatic or surgically induced death of clients with a question 24. A client has suffered from fall and sustained a leg injury. Which appropriate question would the nurse ask the client to help determine if the injury caused fracture? A. Is the pain sharp and continuous? B. Is the pain dull ache? C. Does the discomfort feel like a cramp? D. Does the pain feel like the muscle was stretched? Answer B. After a pelvic Question 24. A client has suffered from fall and sustained a leg injury. Which appropriate question would the nurse ask the client to help to... Answer B. After a pelvic surgery, there is an increased chance of thrombophlebitis sewing to the pelvic manipulation that can interfere with circulation and promote venous stasis. Question 33. Nurse Becky is caring for client who begins to experience seizure while in bed. Which action should the nurse implement to prevent aspiration? A. Position the client on the side with head flexed forward. B. Elevate the head. C. Use tongue depressor between teeth. D. Loosen restrictive clothing. Question 2. A nurse is planning to assess. Answer B. After a pelvic surgery, there is an increased chance of thrombophlebitis sewing to the pelvic manipulation that can interfere with circulation and promote venous stasis. <laughs> Question 33. Nurse Becky is caring for client who begins to experience seizure while in bed. Which action should the nurse implement to prevent aspiration? Question 2. 
and nurses planning to assess the corneal reflex on unconscious client. Which of the following is the safest stimulus to touch the client's cornea? A. Cotton bud. B. Sterile glove. C. Sterile tongue depressor. D. Answer B. After a pelvic. <laughs> Question 33. Nurse Becky is... Question 2. A nurse is planning to assess the corneal reflex on an unconscious client. Which of the following is the safest stimulus to touch the client's cornea? A. Cotton buds. B. The answer. B. After a pelvic surgery, there is an increased chance of thrombophlebitis sewing to the pelvic manipulation that can interfere with circulation and promote venous stasis. Question 33. Nurse Becky is caring for client who begins to experience seizure while in bed. Which action should the nurse implement to prevent aspiration? A. Position the client on the side with head flexed forward. B. Elevate the head. C. Use tongue depressor between teeth. D. Answer. D. For the safety of all. Answer B. After a pelvic surgery, there is an increased chance of thrombophlebitis sewing to the pelvic manipulation that can interfere with circulation and promote venous stasis. Question 2. A nurse is planning to assess the corneal reflex on an unconscious client. Which of the following is the safest stimulus to touch the client's cornea? A. Cotton buds. B. Sterile glove. C. Sterile tongue depressor. D. Wisp of cotton. Question 24. A client has suffered from fall and sustained a leg injury. Which appropriate question would the nurse ask the client to help determine if the injury caused fracture? A. Is the pain sharp and continuous? B. Is the pain dull ache? C. Does the discomfort feel like a cramp? D. Does the pain feel like the... Question 2. A nurse is planning to assess the corneal reflex on an unconscious client. Answer A. Dark red to purple stemmer indicates inadequate blood supply.
Question 2. A nurse's planning to assess. Answer. A. The graft covers the nerve endings, which reduces pain and provides framework for granulation. Answer. C. Assessment of a client with Hodgkin's disease most often reveals enlarged, painless lymph node, fever, malaise and night sweats. Answer A. Dark red to put. Question 2. A nurse is planning to assess the corneal reflex on unconscious client. Which of the following is the safest stimulus to touch the client's cornea? A. Cotton buds. B. Sterile glove. C. Sterile tongue depressor. D. Wisp of cotton. Answer. A. The graft covers the... Question 33. Nurse Becky is caring for client who begins to experience seizure while in bed. Which action should the nurse implement to prevent aspiration? A. Position the client on the side with head flexed forward. B. Elevate the head. C. Use tongue depressor between teeth. D. Loosen. <laughs> Answer A. Dark red to purple stemmer indicates inadequate blood supply. Answer A. The graft covers the nerve endings, which reduces pain and provides framework for granulation. Answer C. Assessment of a client with Hodgkin's disease most often reveals enlarged, painless lymph node, fever. Answer A. Dark red to put. Answer A. The graft covers the nerve endings, which reduces pain and provides framework for granulation. Answer A. Dark red to purple stemmer indicates inadequate blood supply.
Answer C. Assessment of a client with Hodgkin's disease most often reveals enlarged, painless lymph node, fever, malaise and night sweats. Answer B. This symptom is caused by stimulation of retinal.